gram staining was first introduced by a Dutch scientist who is named as Christian Gram and from this name we use this gram staining. Gram staining is a differential staining. Acid fast staining is also a differential staining. So uh, first have a look at this picture. So first thing we do is we uh, take the crystal violet then uh, this is basically a purple color and this is the crystal violet is responsible this is the primary stain this is responsible for imparting a violet color for the gram positive bacteria then you use iodine for 60 seconds which is orange color then you use alcohol ethyl alcohol which is transparent and this decolorizer which is saffronin this is the uh, color that a gram negative bacteria takes up a pink stain or red stain so this is how you do a gram staining and when we say at acid fast staining first you use a carbo carbolfuchin which is a primary stain then you use heat as the moderant so in case of a gram staining the moderant which what you use is the gram iodine if you remember the gram iodine this is the iodine which you use as the more mordant for the gram staining and mordant for the acid fast staining it is just heat then you used acid alcohol as a decolorizer so decolorizer uh, is also alcohol and acetone for gram staining and for acid fast staining we are using acid alcohol basically you used sulfuric acid and this percentage of the sulfuric acid varies uh, for the acid fast staining for example you can use 20 percent uh, you, you can use 20 percent sulfuric acid to stain the mycobacterium tuberculosis 5% for mycobacterium leprae, 1% for nucardia. So these are the percentage of sulfuric acid, percentage of acid that you used for acid fast staining. Then you use a counter stain which is methylene blue. So non-acid fast takes up, see all the negative one takes up this counter stain and all the positive one takes up the primary stain. This is same applicable for the gram staining also. This primary stain which is crystal violet. So positive one takes up this primary stain and negative one takes up this counter stain. So counter stain for the gram negative is saffronin. So the this which is saffronin which is a pink color red color stain it is taken up by the negative. Then this one methylene blue as the name suggests it is blue color so non acid fast which is the negative one that takes up this counter stain. It is as easy. So now if you see. In case of a gram staining, the primary stain is the violet color, crystal violet. Then uh, after that, you use the iodine, gram iodine. Then the decolorizer is alcohol or acetone and the counter stain is saffronin. In acid fast staining, the primary stain is carbolfuchin, which is the basic fuchin in phenol. Then the moderant is heat decolorizer is sulfuric acid and counter staining is methylene blue you can also use malachite green or neutral red for it acid fast staining was introduced by paul alvich and remember gram staining was introduced by christian gram and hence the name gram staining and acid fast staining was introduced by paul alvich it is also a differential staining so gram staining and acid fast staining both are the differential staining you can see gram positive bacteria takes up the primary stain what is the primary stain the crystal violet and hence the gram positive are violet in color and if you see gram negative they takes up the pink color which is our counter stain which is saffronin and therefore they are red or pink in color so purple to violet for gram positive and for pink color for gram negative now coming to staining gram staining is a differential method of staining as well as acid fast staining is also a differential method of staining so gram staining differentiates gram positive from gram negative bacteria gram positive bacteria is purple to violet color bacteria and that is because of a thick peptidoglycan layer we already talked about gram positive have got a thick peptidoglycan layer and a big, uh, this is a layer present in the cell wall and that doesn't allow the primary stain to go off because the cell wall layer is so thick so the primary stain what is the primary stain in gram positive it is the violet color crystal violet stain since the layer is too thick that that is why primary stain doesn't go off even after adding the decolorizer 
and it retains this primary stain and doesn't take up the counter stain and therefore because of this thick peptidoglycan layer it takes up this primary stain which is the violet color and therefore the gram positive bacteria is purple to violet color so gram positive all cocci are mostly gram positive except we have gram negative words so g is the gonococcus m is meningococcus as well as morexella and v is valionella then we have gram negative bacteria gram negative bacteria uh, sees as the pink in color and this is because of the thin peptidoglycan layer present in the cell wall so it lose loses the primary stain and after decolorizer it takes up the counter staining which is saffronin and because of the saffronin color it takes up red or pink color and that is why it looks pink in color all bacilli are gram negative except the mcdonald mcdonald are gram positive bacilli so m is mycobacterium a is anthracis bacillus c is clostridium d is diphtheria o there is nothing N is Nucardia, A is Actinomyces, Actinomyces species and L is Listeria monocytogens and D is diphtherials. So these are the gram positive bacilli. Apart from that all the bacilli are gram negative. Now coming to the acid fast staining which is also known as Zeal-Nielsen staining. It differentiates acid fast from non-acid fast and that is why it is also a differential staining. Mostly the Zeal-Nielsen or acid fast staining is done for tuberculosis in India. There is no heating up so this is a cold method of staining. In this 20% of the acid fast, 20% of the sulfuric acid is used for mycobacterium tuberculosis. 5% of the acid fast is used for mycobacterium leprae and 1% acid fast is used for nucardia. So mycobacterium leprae is acid fast with 5% sulfuric acid and tuberculosis and atypical is 20% sulfuric acid. The cell wall contain pe peptidoglycan layer. For gram positive it is a thick peptidoglycan and for negative it is a thin peptidoglycan. So cell wall without, uh, this is without cell wall. Protoplast is a gram positive without a cell wall and spheroplast is gram negative without a cell wall. Bacterial spores, Nucardia, Rhodococcus and Legionella, these are partially acid fast and as I told you Nucardia is 1% acid fast, 1% sulfuric acid. Cell wall of the gram negative contains, as I told you remember from the word L, it contains more of the lipid, it contains lipopolysaccharides and periplasmic space and the outer membrane. Cell wall of the gram positive contains ticoic acid. So ticoic acid is the main component in the cell wall of a gram positive bacteria. Endotoxicity, it is related to the gram negative bacteria is present with the lipid A part. Endotoxins, these are the polysaccharide and lipid complex. These are heat stable and they have low antigenicity. So endotoxins are seen in case of a gram negative bacteria. So endotoxins are seen in the gram negative bacteria and exotoxins these are also highly antigenic and they are polypeptide actively secreted by the bacteria and the only exotoxin that is released on the lysis of the bacterium it is botulinum toxin 